previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. Bro, this has got, got more it. recaps than a and fucking One Piece okay, episode, Carly. dude. You'll what shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. This has got, this is One Piece style shit. Like, unacceptable level of recapping here. Come on. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh, don't relive oh my, my glory I don't give again. A shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Smoking on that dog pack. Let's go. Fucking dude. Yeah, dude, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like. Doug deserved the smoke, okay? He came after my woman like that. I'm sorry that it had to work out that way, but it really did. Lerald is next, by the way. Oh my God, I can't wait to make a choice that kills Larry. Oh my God. Am I playing this game right? I feel like I'm playing this game wrong. Three months later, I'm dripped out. I'm popping zombies in the head like it's nobody's business. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. Bro, how was there fucking recaps? Fucking uh, up next on season two ass fucking... 20 minutes of like shit that I haven't seen yet spoilers and another 20 minutes of recaps and I have no idea who the fuck this guy is it's like are you deliberately making this confusing that's crazy it seemed like so much at the time maybe you shouldn't have opened the door yeah except then I'd probably be food by now trust me I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Who's Lily? You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having a Oh, Laryl's daughter? Out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? How Seems is like Larry still alive, bro? It's been three months. It's been three whole goddamn months, and I still haven't won, seemingly piped Carly, which is a big L, and Larry is still alive? I haven't even fucked Larry's daughter. The only reason why... Larry should still be alive is if I want to fuck his daughter so he gets extra races and then kills himself. Okay? That's crazy. Three months, bro? You have no Riz. You have no Riz. Thank God I'm fucking controlling this character again. Holy shit. Larry's been doing yoga to spite you. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Yeah. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are yeah. not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? 
Uh, knock me flat. He did. He did knock me flat. Fucking. White supremacist piece of shit. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Fuck that burp. Bro, you fucking L nerd. Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. You suck, bro. You missed the bird. Did the bullet shoot Kenny instead? Like, what the fuck just happened? Ah! Yo, ain't no way we shot Kenny. Ain't no fucking way, bro. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, m never oh, mind. Shit. It's not Kenny. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just <laughs> see if you can get him out. After Classic. that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. I'm ROTC. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, they're coming. Zomber's coming. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. We gotta chop his leg off, baby. Oh, no. We gotta chop Shit. it off. Walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please! Chop it off. Get me out of this. Chop Mom, it off. Get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Damn it, this is bad. Really bad. Oh fuck, why am I looking? Please! All that blood and screaming? We're gonna Please, be surrounded any minute! Please! Get me out of Please. this! Please! You can't just leave him like this! Maybe chop this? Try to cut the chain! Is he, hurry. Is he gonna make it? Uh, oh man! Let's go! Oh, let's man. go! It's not where I don't think it's working. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Come on! What Try the fuck is this thing? Lee, it has to be now. Do you think you can get it open? Please hurry. Bro, I'm going to have to chop your leg Damn off, it, big Lee, dog. Sorry. Leg. We don't have time for that. Oh, I'm sorry, but we have to go now. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Sorry, big dog. The leg's getting out. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. Sorry, big dog. Ah. Yep. You're gonna be Fuck, legless now. Ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God, there's so many of them. Ah, 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 one more. Did that work? Oh shit. Oh shit. He passed out, bro. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. I tried my best. There's a tourniquet on his leg already. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on. We gotta move. Ah! Run, dumbass. I thought your father was special forces. Oh, he's so dead. He's so eaten. All right, good. At least they got... All right, no! they, got, they got someone else to pay attention to now. Dumbass. Fucking... Oh, my father. I was in the ROTC. Like, fucking dumb fuck. Guess what, dude? You're dead now, so... Yeah, what happened to your epigenetic special forces memories didn't work there, did it? <laughs> you don't have to be fast. You just have to not be the slowest. You know what I'm saying? Guess he didn't. Guess he failed the walking course of the special forces camp. What is Larry?
Gary doing, bro? He's just fucking hammering a rock. I hate him. I hate him so much. You know this game is not going to let me kill him easy, too. Fuck, man. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! <laughs> Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Oh my hey, god, they're so antagonistic. Hey, what no, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Bro, she sucks too. I mean, I'll st I, I'd still pipe. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? Just like at the top of the hour, there's a three-minute ad break, and it's going to happen no matter what. Like, this will happen specifically because her dad's racist. Okay, I can fix her. But she is fucking annoying just like her dad, bro. Jesus Christ. Both of them are racist. Straight up. Straight up. Oh my god. Guys, you don't understand. It's anti-racist. It's literally anti-racist. Me having sex with her would be anti-racist because the dad would get really mad and then kill himself. That's the goal here. Feed rates are thinking of the five community to give this up is allowing five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to do a little bit of white replacement up in here, dude. It's the end of times. Like, you're going to be fucking... I didn't realize that a community of... Oh yeah, that's right. You guys do hate LeBron. So I do have a community of fucking white supremacists out here oh my god oh don't do it don't do great replacement to the whites at the end times like yeah i am thank you i'm reversing dr Jakob's mistake exactly there's a three minute break now yeah he would have died if we left him so what we are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. What? That's fucked up, dude. That's actually fucked up. Guyana Grown, think of the five gifted subs. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I just <laughs> Yo, shut on, the fuck okay? up, dude. You, you like have no choice in the matter. You better look at Clementine's drawings right now, bitch. I didn't save your stupid ass so you would fucking sit around and not look at Clementine's drawings, you motherfucker. But we can make our own goddamn Be grateful. decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look. Once Katcha patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. You're a lunch lady, deserve babes. deserve <laughs> a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh my Dad, God, I can't please. wait. 
Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? God, he sucks so bad, you racist monster. I can't wait for you to die, bro. I cannot wait, bro. I can't you wait for what? the Zombers if to attack. If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Ain't no way that's the only food we have that's in the backpack. That's all the food we have for today. Ain't no fucking you way. You gets to eat. Look. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Yeah, I'm giving it all to Clem. Fuck this. You have four food items for 10 hungry uh, people. Yeah, Clem gets it all, bro. Clem gets four. Duck is not eating. Let me tell you, you know who's not eating? Daddy. Daddy racist over here, okay? Mr. Klansman. If you think you're getting a fucking piece of Lunchables, you're out of your god dang mind. Okay? Starve. Fuck face. All right, I'll talk to everybody to see who deserves okay. it the most. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. <laughs> I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. It's what your husband but wanted? Just what the scary fuck? Sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Oh my god, bro. I can't wait to wield this newfound power for absolute evil. You know what I'm saying? If you think I'm going to be nice about this food supply shit, you're out of your goddamn mind, okay? It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. I'm, I'm Will straight you up. hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him so much on my life. There is not a person I hate on this planet more than him right now. Hey, oh my god. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Kaja can save him. Like... Racist old man, you need medicine to survive. That's a L. Your heart has given up. Even your heart's not in it. Shut the fuck up. Call them motherfuckers pansies, bro. Oh my God. I would literally substitute his pills for Skittles as soon as I could. Okay. Jesus Christ, bro. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Classic chair force, by the way. Uh, I'm too tired. Uh, there aren't children that I can drone strike today. <laughs> I'm at my limit for drone striking children today. Nerd. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen. I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. He is tired, though. I feel like I need some allies in this battle. Here, eat something. Wait, I thought I had four pieces of food. What the fuck? I got you an apple. Wow. Thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Nah. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Shut the Come fuck on, up, man. old man. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? There, yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. Uh -huh. You two have got to start trying to get along. 
The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I didn't even deny it, bro. I said, yeah, bum. What's up? What's up? He is racist. See? He didn't even deny it. He's like, yeah. What's up? I am racist. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Ain't no way I'm giving this food to Larry. I'm going to flex on him. Want some food? Just kidding. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Bro, white people, white people in, in the end of time still won't drop racism. You see that? He didn't even fucking deny it. He was like, yeah, I am racist. What are you gonna do about a bitch? Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Want some Keep food? on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. <laughs> yeah, I don't get told off by your kind looking ass. Bro, he is so... It's true, At he is racist. the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I oh promise. my god. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Talk hey, to this new guy. I'm gonna make it. I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Mm -hmm. Your group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Ben Parker, Paul, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the terrible name when when everything happened. Playoffs for what band? How are you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know, some kind of I don't know something. Two first names, you can't trust them. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna forget Relax. that. We'll get your friend back to normal. Lee won't time. forget this, sure that he has two so. first names. Oh god, I don't even want to do this right now. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, come on, Ben. You oh, didn't even know. try it's hard. Duck, right? no. duck, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. You're so stupid, Duck. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. God damn, Catch he's dumb, later, bro. Duck. Bye, Lee. Duck's not even drawing nothing. He's got, like... He's got, like, the, the schizophrenic drawings, bro. Do you see that? He's just scribbling on that paper with fucking... Viciousness. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Bro, if you think I'm giving duck food, you're out of your fucking mind, okay? I need him to shut the fuck up. I don't need him to be energized. I'm hoping that if he doesn't get any food, maybe he'll be tired, okay? You're out of your fucking mind. You saw how fucking angrily he's scribbling on that piece of paper. His ass is like, give me a fucking Lunchable meat and I will keep going for years. Okay. I will never shut up. I'll tell you all about dinosaurs and shit. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. 
If you think I'm gonna give Larry a piece of food, you're out of your goddamn mind, okay? On Autism Awareness Month too. Come on, bro. I can't believe you're Back you're you're there. owning you're owning Doug is autistic. That's crazy. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Okay, well, now I don't need to give you food then, because you already gave it to me. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. You I ain't getting no food, is. Kenny. I'm Dumb taking fuck. my family. All right. I am going with him. Should I give him a piece of food? Fuck, he's going to want to give it to his stupid fucking son, though. I'm giving one to Clementine for sure. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, Fuck no. why don't we need to get some food? Bro, I do actually feel kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel kind of bad about... I just, I don't want to give him food. Fuck Duck. Duck can suck my... Well, no, because this is a child, but fucking he can die, okay? Gotcha, here you go. Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Fucking... I need space, Lee. God damn, everybody's saying feed Duck. Everybody's saying you gotta feed Duck, and I just don't want to feed him. He's so fucking annoying, bro. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now, and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Oh, okay. Got it. Keep Dumbass. Fine. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it, dude. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! I feel bad, bro. Someone in the chat said, don't be like the IDF. Give Doug food. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I can't tell who else is hungry. Maybe Lily? Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. It's like I'm still a racist bitch. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Bro, I really thought the food, the, I really thought the cracker game was going to actually work. I'm not kidding. I really thought. Bro, worst choice? Wait, what? Elriz, I just lost because she's racist. And the other lady also, Carly hates me too. Look at her. Look at her giving me the side eye. Fuck, bro. It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. 
I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Oh, you There's think you left. got food? You keep treating people <laughs> like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. I'm trying to get yeah. you to die, well, Larry. Larry, get the message, bitch. I want you dead. I want your ideas to die, too, because you are a white supremacist. But I definitely want you dead in general. I hate you. Eat shit and die. I hope your pills run out, you fucking piece you of shit. You working on that wall? Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. No! God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, I killed his ass. No problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ah! Oh, what the fuck? He got bit! He got bit! He got fucking bit, dude! Fuck you! Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I gotta hit. Oh, I gotta slam it like that? Move, move! Shit, it's stuck. Oh, you suck so much ass, bro. You suck so much ass, bro. God damn it, bro. You fucking chair force scumbag. Kill his ass, bro. Kill his ass. Shoot it. God damn, son. You I okay? brought a fucking zomber yeah. back to camp. Thanks. This sucks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Wait, what? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wait, what? We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is Wait, what the fuck? people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen. We were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were fine. Bro, I'm not even kidding. I literally thought that that was the case. So <gasps> when Larry's fucking pills run out, I get to cave his skull in. Let's go, dude. Oh my God. Oh, sweet victory. Oh my God. I am going to poke holes in his skull to drink the blood of my other enemies from it. Oh my Lord. I get to kill him twice? Sweet victory. This is called Silver Linings, okay? It's called Silver Linings, chat. Finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. 
Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? That's racist as hell. We got plenty. That's right. Oh, they sound racist as hell, bro. Oh my God, that's so sus. Oh, right, we got a dairy farm. Where we definitely don't do white supremacist activities. At the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. You need to stop sleeping on Carly. She's a goat. No, I know so she's the goat. This dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Damn, these guys are... Bro, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Racist, though. Like, the fucking preppers. Like, they're kind of goaded at this shit. You know what I mean? They're like... Think about it this way. They already think, like, every non-white person is, like, a zombie. Literally right now. When there isn't, like, uh, some kind of catastrophic event taking place. So they're prepped for this, like, from day one. You know what I mean? Kill them and take over the farm? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. I also have to pee real quick. Don't praise the preppers. Honestly, if a fucking, if doomsday happens, I would praise the preppers and then I would kill them and then take over their farm. But I do have to pee. Hold on one second. Hold on a moment now. I'll be back. Uh. Now hold on a god dang minute. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You know, it seems like just yesterday I was You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Bro, is she gonna... I mean, thank are God we gonna sex so or what? Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Oh my God, bro. They're racist. Me. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, 
Who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mom's okay, these guys are gonna eat for, us, bro. Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who Calm raided down. my You're camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all to yourselves. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Can't wait to do that to Larry, bro. I just saw a snapshot of my future, you know what I mean? Larry's about to get the smoke. Yo, get the crossbow, son. What are you doing? These guys have no survival instinct, bro. That's like perfect crossbow, silent killer. Here it is. Saint That's John's insane that they let that go. That's insane. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. Bro, they look so incestuous, dude. They look like an incest family. Straight up. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old I also don't see any zombies on the fucking wall, so either they're eating the zombies after they fry them, or they're eating people. Farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's Dude, right. that is... Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Bro, they're It'd eating. Be nice to have they're some eating humans. Help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? They're eating humans. Why the bandits are the good guys. Food One hundo p. For the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See ben? Leaving her with fucking Mark, nerdy please, ass Ben? Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. 
It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got Too food. nice, bro. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? <sighs> before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working. You are you so dumb, it. bro. Okay, why is it that goofy motherfucker, bro? This game is too realistic. I swear to God, bro. How did you pass the ASVAB with that? No, man. They're eating people, okay? They're eating people. It's not the broken swing that I'm afraid of. Motherfucker's like, wow, there's an OSHA violations happening everywhere here. Oh. Checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Ooh, we're about to be eating, big dog. Oh, my God. I'm looking at the swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the <laughs> tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is real weight pulling by fixing the fucking dumbass swing. God damn it. I can't believe I was... I can't believe they're stupid enough to believe that I was leading this group, okay? Oh my god, maybe they're not eating people. No, they are eating people, for sure. Let's be real. Big priority here. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Bro, I cannot, uh, dude, I do not trust these dudes. I do not trust these incestuous looking freaks, bro. No shot. He's like following me along like a shadow too. Perfect for the swing. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really pulling my weight here with the swing operations, you know? That rope is also good to fucking mm, hang one of the children. Herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yeah, fresh herbs to use inside of the fucking humans, dude. We're dinner. Wait, what did I say that you guys are saying, huh? I'm hanging the fucking kids. Like, the, the incest kids. Not, not duck, even though duck Boy. could get it too. Wow, he's really doing a great job surveilling the it's scene here. Big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> How would I prepare human meat? Very carefully. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out.
Hi. I'll suss you out. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. <laughs> yeah, moved on to our bellies, dude. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. Where's Max? Where's Max, bro? All right, I'm gonna go inside the house first before I fix the perimeter. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I'm gonna fix that stupid ass fucking swing, too. All right, let me talk to Mark. Get his so assessment of the situation. Out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. So one of the just said, man, I would not last a week without internet. Bro, you would have so much work, dude. You know the amount of fucking work that's constantly required to maintain a plantation style home like this? In the midst of a goddamn zomber apocalypse, right. don't worry, you'd be, you'd be keeping be busy. Tough. You would not have time for the internet. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Why are they so Ohio coded? Oh my god, I just found out pressing shift thanks to that one chatter. Makes you walk faster. We're cooking, boys. Come on now. Giddy up. Paula Dean is going to cook you. Oh, 100%. Maybe her racism will stop her from eating me, though. You know what I mean? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these Sus. days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Sus. Sus. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Let well, me in the house, up. woman. Now, aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. What happened to the rest of your staff? We oh, ate him. We've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Okay, I'm not gonna lie now, I'm being sus. You know what I mean? Like, random dude shows up at your front door, was invited, but it's like, how many rooms does your house have when I kill you and take over your house? I would like to know. Well, he did a fantastic job. It's like I'm doing a fucking Zillow appraisal. I believe in making a house a home. <laughs> when will dinner be ready? 
It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy, but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Bro, this is 2010. That house is worth like right after the fucking right after the market crash, like two years after that house is worth like a cool 250 if at that. You know what I mean? Press a space bar. What does that do? Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Bro, it's a big ass property. Holy shit. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what <laughs> it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. <laughs> Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Never mind. He's based, bro. He's like, listen, I'm a based anti white. I mean, I'm a based anti racist activist, okay? None, no half measures. You know what I mean? He's like, no half measures. No fucking dancing around the issue. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Never know, we might use it. Was. Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Eh, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth <laughs> of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. <clears throat> I didn't check this one if he's alive or not. Man, the fence burned right into his hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. 
God damn. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. 